In this screencast I'm going to show you how to use the Forms app. You'll have been given your iPad with the Forms app already installed and you can see it here on the desktop. You can just tap on it to open and as you can see there's no form in there yet so I'm going to show you how to put a new form in and how to start using it. So just tap on the home page to go back you'll be sent a URL link for the form that you need to use and it will come into your email. So I'm going to go to my email now and find that URL. Click on mail and then inbox and this is the email here that has my link in it and here's the form that I need to use. So I need to copy and paste that now into the forms app If you just put your finger on the link and hold it there a sec, it will bring up the option to copy and you can tap there. Now I need to go back to the Forms app to paste it in, so use the Home button and open up Forms again and select New Form here at the top. And then if you just touch that URL box it brings up this little paste button which you can tap and then save and that's your form all ready to use just tap on it and that resizes it to fit your screen and you can start entering information in the fields so when you tap on one of the fields it brings up the on-screen keyboard for you to use You'll need to fill out a lot of these fields, but I'm just going to fill out one or two that are compulsory so I can show you what to do next. So I need to put something in here and in here. And then if you scroll right the way down to the bottom, when you finish filling out the form, you can submit it here. And that's it, your response has been recorded. And I'll use this Forms button at the top to take me back to the start of the Forms app. So all of that's worked and I've submitted my responses to the questionnaire because I'm connected to the internet through a wireless connection. And you can see that my iPad's connected to the internet because this icon is showing at the top here. But you can use forms even if you don't have access to a wireless connection at the time that you're recording your observation. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So if you're going to be going somewhere and you either know that you won't have access to wireless or you're not sure, it's probably safest to use the offline mode to record your observations and then submit your answers later when you know that you can get connection to the, to the internet. So you need to change the settings a little bit and you need to do that while you do have access to the internet. So if you open forms and make sure you're on the page that shows the form that you're going to need to use um, and then you can use this icon here at the bottom, tap on that and we need to change to offline mode at the moment it's off which means that you're using the online mode but we want to change it to on so just swipe your finger across to turn it on now if I open my form and record some information and then submit it. It 
it says it's been recorded rather than actually being sent. So then use that forms button to go back to the same page. And you can see here that it's showing that you've got one set of answers saved there but not yet submitted. And then when you're back somewhere where you have a wireless connection, you can just tap on that icon again and then use upload answers. And you can see that that notification has gone now. There's nothing waiting there for you to upload and all your responses have been submitted.